talking about our little set we made a little bit wider angle to make it feel more homely jenna if you would like to present the the, the pillow right there it is. we practiced this is like uh <laughs> <laughs> this is like the weather the weather people yes where they don't know where to point yeah they're just like over here, <laughs> <laughs> over here it's gonna rain today so yeah heck yeah well cool thanks for coming out here of course. I appreciate it. Jenna lives in uh, Denton, Texas. Yes. I'm in Decatur. Not too far. <laughs> if you would like to give your personal address, you can do that. Yeah, my uh, address is... <laughs> <laughs> Here, pull that up a little closer. Or scoot in a little closer. Scoot in. Yeah, there we go. We got the uh, Support and Healthy Lifestyles, the Cowboys. Yes. Who actually makes those? I don't know. This is... Mm, I know the boutique's name. The Twisted... Turquoise pistol, the I turquoise think? pistol. I think is what they're. Called. I get lost with all the different boutique There's names. So many. There the uh, yeah, the twisted little cactus, mm-hmm. the turquoise cactus. Yes, they're all. But this awesome. one's the twisted pistol. Turquoise pistol. Turquoise. I think. The twisted. <laughs> the twisted turquoise pistol. <laughs> Something like that. Brought to you by the three T's. Yes. Twisted turquoise pistol, or actually, that would be a P in there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I just. Exposed my lack of intelligence. It's fine. It's okay. I just hate that it came out so early. Yeah, <laughs> just I'm right off the bat. You know? So this is different than the cowpoke people because I thought that they were doing that too. Cow- Remember uh, how this they is used like a brand like a trend going on? I know where they used. I did it too on yeah. my merch. Really? Have you not seen those? I don't think so. It just says Morris. There you go. But it's kind of in like the Marlboro lettering. Yeah. Uh, but the cowpoke poke. They say, it just says cowpoke, and they use the Marlboro thing. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. There's like. They're everywhere. Yeah. And they say different things underneath them. I don't know. So are they, are you, do you like rep their brand or? Yes. Okay. Very recently. Yeah. Though. We were talking about this before we started shooting uh, the whole process of like this endorsement type stuff. Mm. Very, very complicated. <laughs> yeah, for sure. But yeah. I mean, how many people are you doing that for? What's that like process repping? like? Um, so most people like just reach out to me on social media or I have my business email and my bio on Instagram. So they'll just like reach out to me and say, Hey, we want to, whatever the deal is. So I want to send you stuff if you can make, you know, this amount of videos for me or an Instagram post. So stuff like that. And just like some, some pay, some don't. Um, it's just like what they offer. Some businesses are like bigger than others, so they can offer more stuff, but some are just starting out and just kind of want to get their name out there. So it just kind of depends. They want to take advantage of all the eyeballs on you. <laughs> Something like that. I feel like I'm like your older brother because we go way back. Oh, yeah. And it uh, to see the amount of attention that you get, mm-hmm. but then companies don't want to pay for it kind of pisses me off. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Every time, every time Jared comes out, it's like a, like deep talks with Jared. <laughs> yeah. yeah. With the old horseshoe. Yes. That's every the way time, it's supposed to be. That's, exactly. Yeah. That's the way I always had, uh, had it described. Like the horseshoe was always, granted, I do a lot of talking. Right. Which is different than most horseshoes. Other horseshoes in the past. I mean, they wouldn't say a word to you. No. Jared, but, I mean, we get into it, you know? We do. Uh, <laughs> but most horseshoers, they always end up being like the, uh, like the psychologist. Oh yeah. And then people just download all their issues. Like, that's, well, you're just I mean, sitting there trying to That's how you know they're a good one, you know? Yeah, if they're a good people. listener. Yeah. That's why I'm a bad <laughs> horseshoer, you know? <laughs> oh <my laughs> Listening's God. not the strong suit. That's why this podcast is good for me. Right. You get it all out. Yeah, get it all out. And then I can listen a little bit more at work. Right. But yeah, we always do have good talks. And I've been shooing your horses for... Years. Six years? Something like that. How? So when I first met you, you would have been... How old are you now? 18? 18. Almost 19. Man, would you really have been like 13? I think so. Gosh, that's crazy. That's crazy. Well, when I met you, you were just like posting videos on your Instagram playing music and now <laughs> you're playing in front of people. So <laughs> Now you're playing in front of people. <laughs> yeah. It's- my mom and dad are super supportive. Right. You know, they come to every show. There you so go. So at least I got two. Yes. There right? you go. <laughs> when they stop going. That's how you know. That's how you know. It's time to <laughs> time to hang it up. But yeah, I probably I would. Yeah, isn't that wild? 
It was been before you ever made. When did you make your first TikTok? I don't even know. It was. It became big like 2019, right? It was like 2018. Probably. It was that recent. I think so. Was it like one of the first videos that you did just exploded? Some basically. What was it? It was literally a stu- like stupid video, not planned out. I was filling up waters, and that sound that was like you're thicker filling than a up Snicker, waters. heavy like a Chevy. Yes. What do you mean filling up waters for like the for people the horses. that don't? Oh, okay, yeah. there you go. <laughs> filling up the horses' water and just bored, waiting for it to fill up, and uh, that sound like you're thicker than a sticker, heavy like a Chevy or whatever. You Wait, heard that one? No, it's like a dumb. What did you say? Dumb sound. It's like you're thicker <laughs> than a sticker, heavy like a Chevy. Anyways, thicker than a snicker. Yeah, I did it with my horse. Heavy like she was a just, Chevy. She was staying in there. Actually, I think like I got a couple of them in there, but like just, I mean, a dumb, stupid little video just for fun. And it just blew up. I don't heavy know. like a Chevy. Is that like a rap song? No, it was like a, like somebody made some really? little sound That's and unfo- like their I basement a, kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, I knew a girl back in the day named Chevy. Really? Which that pro- she probably doesn't love I had that a horse named Chevy. Heavy like a Chevy. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, she probably doesn't like that. Song. No, probably not. No, it's you funny. say it is a song. I don't even know. Oh. It was just like a sound, like huh. all the goofy little sounds or whatever. It was just a joke. So you're just filling up waters and you did that with your horse, and then mm-hmm. like how many views did that video get? It got a lot. I think it was it was close to a million. I think. And so, is it still on there? Will you pull it up? I need to watch it. I I haven't seen. So this is the first big one that blew up. Yes. So it was with my horse, right? So then people like loved seeing that whole aspect. So then any other videos I put out with my horses did great, and anything else I put out, nothing, Uh, nothing at all. (laughs) So yeah, I definitely drew in an audience with that one. Does that mess with your psyche at all? A, A little bit. Does it? Yeah, but. Yeah, so any, like, that's how all the rodeo people and anybody who's intrigued by the Western world, they all started following me. Mm. So that's kind of, if I put anything else out that's not related to, like, rodeo yeah. or anything like that, nothing. Yeah. It doesn't do anything. Uh, Jessica, my wife, has, her her Instagram does well with her horses, but mm-hmm. and she always tells me, like, man, if I if I do anything with, with me and it, it doesn't get any attention. Right. Uh, but... <laughs> On the on the other side of it too, for the longest time, if I tried to post anything, it's just so weird how that stuff works, right? Because I don't even know if people are the ones deciding, or if it's like if it's the, alg- the algorithm yeah. itself, yeah, yeah. Because like I feel for like the, it's kind of both, probably. probably. Yeah, well, I mean, the algorithm doesn't just come up with stuff out of nowhere. It's well, based true. on people's, yeah, like their likings. Yeah, yeah. But for the longest time, mine, if I posted her. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would get a lot of attention. But if I just did me, people are like, nah, bro. Well, like social media loves the whole relationship status, whether it's like a couple or sisters or like family, best friends, anything like that. They love that stuff. But didn't you say, has your dad been on some of them? Yes. Didn't you say they do really well? like love my dad. They (laughs) love him. If he's in any of my lives, anytime I go live in the comments, where's your dad? Oh, that's funny. Is your dad going to come in here? Oh, and that probably feeds his ego so much. so much. So He's much. a trip. He is. How's his groin? Great. <laughs> <laughs> Little bit of context, Jared. Uh, <laughs> he blew out. Like <laughs> he was working out and just like I don't even know all down He's his doing leg. Doing squats, everything. right? Leg press, yes. Leg press and just destroyed his. What is his 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 groin? He like tore it or something. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, well, but then I'm he was laughing. playing softball. If you not knew too the guy, you probably laugh. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he was playing softball like two weeks ago, I think, and he um, tore his hamstring or pulled it. How? When was that? Like two or three weeks ago. Good grief! So, yeah, he was like, I think I'm done. Time with to sports. hang it up, mm-hmm. man. Yeah, so he's. <laughs> is he's probably <laughs> a little break? sad now? Yeah, because he's a pretty active guy. Yeah, he's still working out a ton, just not as much. <laughs> yeah, well, when he did the groin thing, he like was lifting an insane amount of weight. Oh yeah, like more than his body weight for sure. I don't even know. <laughs> hey, bring me that. Do you have that TikTok? Tic Tac? Where's that Tic Tac? I can probably I see find it. Do you have it on yours? Okay, I know the sound. The sound is taken down. So let me try to find it. Bring over that Tic Tac. Okay, here's the you're thicker than a snicker. So see, it is like like a guy. You are thicker than a snicker, heavy like a Chevy. Come 
Oh my. So it's like a complete yeah. joke. It was yeah. just a funny sound that was going around and <laughs> I was just like, oh, that's hilarious. So just made it. Thicker than a snicker. Like, oh yeah. Heavy like a Chevy. And I mean, the video's still up. There's just no sound to it. Oh, okay. We're going off. Hey. I have to scroll down a bunch. Hey, don't show, don't show that. No. Don't do that one. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Jared, your TikTok did really well. Which one? The one we made for you with the shoes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thanks to old Jenna. So, no, that's like, that's we talk about that pretty often before you made the song, right? Oh, the about whole, doing videos like that? Well, how people like judge you if you're like, you have a wide brim hat or you're oh, wearing tennis shoes, yeah. anything like that. Well, the you internet puts that. that on like hyperdrive. Oh, yeah. Because a lot of people just don't know what they're talking about. Uh, they like to think they do. Oh, for sure. For sure. Have you gotten crap for the, the hat thing? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, we wear wide brims because that's just like the style. I mean, that's what you, you know, yeah. it's what we wear. Yeah. And people are like, your hat's on backwards. So, so, yeah, people that don't know, explain that to them. So, the cowboy hat thing. Yeah. So, I mean, your hat, the back of it, I mean, it's pretty obvious. How, like to us, how mm-hmm. we do it, but the wide brim. Like you can see somebody. <laughs> I can see somebody in their like, hat and their cowboy hat sh- shape increase and, crease and oh, know yes. in two seconds mm-hmm. if they bought it at like yes, a if Cavenders. They bought it at Cavenders. Nothing against Cavenders. Or, nothing against Cavenders. Right. But um, like those hats, they that's to me like uncreased. Yes, you get them like that, and yeah, then you go get them creased. Yeah, right. for sure, exactly. And so that's just like the mold they like come in, mm-hmm. but. Like I had the I had a guy one time tell me, uh, well they do the deal where they're like your hat's on backwards mm-hmm. because it's a wide brim because it's because it's real wide and uh, and then I had a guy say, uh, George Strait taught us how to crease a cowboy hat and that's not how you do it. Oh, and I was like, hmm. good, good. Oh, well, I'm not George Strait, and I have my own crease in my hat. Styles change, you know that too. That is a- Long time ago. And the whole point of, of of getting a hat for yourself is like put your own little style into it. Right. Well, they little. definitely crease it like to your face, you know, yeah, that to too. match like your head and yeah. your face shape and all that stuff. So like not every crease is going to be the same. Yeah. But. It's not supposed to be. Exactly. Yeah. I just get so tickled by it. Yeah. And then that goes into the whole tennis shoes thing. Yes. We wear tennis shoes when we're not riding and just like, you know, running around and whatnot because they're just more comfortable. And then you make a video or something or a picture and you're not wearing your boots, but you're wearing jeans and like, you're not and really country. You're not a cowboy. Yeah. Mm-mm. Nope. And it's people that like, ironically, the people that say that are the ones that aren't. It's exactly. like, so how do you know? Yeah. But if you're around most people that ride horses or do anything like that, like their boots typically just have spurs on them mm-hmm. and you take your boots off and you put on tennis shoes. Exactly. Instead of taking you your You put on your boots when you go ride. Right. Which I have, I mean, you got dress boots and stuff. We go out yeah. someplace nice. I wear them, but exactly. other than that, I don't really wear boots. Mm-mm. Just tennis shoes. Get a lot of crap for it. I found the video. So just imagine the sound to it. Heavy like a Chevy, right? <laughs> <laughs> like that's it. I love it. Just singing it, you know, playing around. You got it's to, fine. you know, it's fine. And then it explodes, and then so now you have. Uh, it's like 700,000 Tic Tac followers. Tic Tac. <laughs> Something like that. Crazy. I just don't. <laughs> I, I don't get think it, people but... fully comprehend how many people that is. That's a lot of people. That you can, on average, when you do a video, how many views does it get? Um. Well, my TikTok's like really boosted a lot in the past month. So, I mean, I've gone up thousands of followers um, because I've had like some videos do really well. So like on average, I'm getting at least a hundred thousand views on every video. 100,000 people. And then, so, I mean, there's probably 10, 20,000 likes on those. Right. Just somebody going, yep. I like that. Mm-hmm. That is so many people. <laughs> so many. And those are on average, but TikTok, I definitely think goes in waves. Like you'll do really, really well. At some points in times, and then it kind of goes down. Yeah, it is your videos weird. don't like do as well for like a period of time, and then it goes back up. Huh. It definitely goes in waves. I've noticed that. Why and do you I've think had, that is? I don't know, but hmm. I've had other people say that they like 
like other influencers say that's happened to them too. And then companies don't want to pay you for it. <laughs> Drives me nuts. That's a topic we talk They'll about. They'll spend often. thousands of dollars on a billboard, mm-hmm. but to do a video with you to get a million views, they're like, oh, well, I'll give like, you 200 bucks. I don't know. It's, I think it's a new marketing that's going on, definitely, with the whole TikTok thing. I think people are still figuring it out. Like, it's not just some silly little app. You can actually get a lot of business out of it. Yeah. So, businesses are definitely noticing that. But so. it's not even isolated to that. I mean, you have your Instagram. You have all sorts of other stuff, too. Oh, yeah. Like that, YouTube. Yeah. Stuff like that. Yeah. Are you are you doing a YouTube channel? Yes. So, we have a YouTube channel. We're trying to get that going. I haven't figured that whole world out yet. Um, but we have some friends who did, so they're trying to help me navigate through that. What kind of but stuff are you going to do? I don't know. Like, people just love watching what other people do in their life. <laughs> it's kind of weird, but, I mean, it's true. So, like, all the vlogs and everything, super popular. If you just video going to, like, a barrel race, a lot of people don't get to do that. So they yeah. love watching that other people get to do that and, like, you know, what they do, like, in their daily life and stuff like that. So, What is your daily existence right now? Well, I'm not going to school as of right now. Um, Good for you. We're trying. We're trying to make it outside of that. Um, so, I mean, I wake up, take care of the horses and whatnot. Um, I do like a lot of photo shoots for brands and just make like videos for them and stuff like that. So, you know, I'll make some videos throughout the day um, and kind of like build up content so that I can mm-hmm. post it throughout the week, yeah. kind of deal. Um, but I still work horses. I still rodeo and all that stuff. So, just trying to like balance all of it but i'm also starting an apparel line and merch and then um i'm getting my realtor's license Whoa. so i have like a backup just yeah, in case yeah. because so you don't need school you know. right so we're trying that. we're trying to make it without but we'll i'm see fired up today yeah you got your red Bull. i know that was a bad idea <laughs> <laughs> i drink that big coffee so I'm oh my gosh rolling. i'm just fired up so you don't need school <laughs> if you're willing to hustle i exactly. mean the internet it's an oyster mm-hmm I've never actually understood what that phrase means. Like the world is your oyster. What is it? What does that mean? What is an oyster? Stop it. Like the clam. Did you say what is an oyster? I can't even say it. Oyster. (laughs) Oyster. 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 Is that like the clam thing? It kind of is. Have you never had one? I don't think so. Mm. We were in, did I talk about this last time on the podcast about Skeeter doing the oyster shot? We were in Midland. Oyster shot. Yeah, we were at a Mexican restaurant, like in between sound check and the show, mm. and on the menu was an oyster shot. But we were at like a Mexican restaurant, and it looked horrible. <laughs> and it doesn't sound too. Good, so the guy that sells merch and drives a van, he, uh, we convinced him to do it, and I bought it for him. And we asked the little waitress lady, we were like, "Has anybody ever ordered the, one of these?" And she was like, "Never, never." But it was an it was uh, like vodka. Mm-hmm. And an actual oyster, and then uh, like like cocktail sauce, and oh, all just mixed yeah, I don't in know together. About all that. And he did that whole shot. I almost threw up I, watching him do it. Yeah, but Definitely. that's what an oyster sort of is. But it is like, like the little the clam, clam thing, thing. But it's like a real. It's mushy. like your life is an oyster. Yeah. What What does that mean? Are you like the little marble thing inside of the clam? Whoa! Maybe that was deep. I don't know. Like you're like the little like, pearl break out i don't know are they pearls i think so right yeah that would be let's go with that that's my best bet we're going with it (laughs) uh how why did i start talking about that your life is an oyster oh yeah the internet yes (laughs) i said the internet's like an oyster but if you're willing to like hustle it and even if you have like a product and you start a business or anything Mm -hmm. and it's like direct to consumer if you're willing to just like work and hustle at it well that's what my friends are doing the double b who i did that big photo shoot with this past week Mm -hmm. he's 18 senior in high school and he's trying to get this business started and he's like i mean doing really really well Mm -hmm. so i mean he's he said his goal is that he hopes it gets big enough so he doesn't have to go to school and could just do that, but his yeah. parents wanted to go for like a backup plan. But yeah, I'm sure they do. I mean, there's a ton of people who are doing that kind of stuff. Like my age now, because of the internet and how it's going, like it's so much easier to start a business. And yeah. I mean, it's not easy, but it's easier to get it out there and like, you know, all that stuff. So, and then when you find people willing to help, you know, rep yeah. it or whatever. If you like, if you're, if you're willing to learn on your own, mm-hmm. that's the other thing with the internet is you can learn how to do anything. 
Oh yeah. Like a lot of the stuff that you do, like video editing and things like that, you just taught yourself and you Basically. just watched other people do it online. Mm-hmm. You didn't have to go pay for some class to learn how to do it. Exactly. And I think people are missing that boat. I mean, if you want, if you know what you want to do and you want to be a freaking a doctor, or a well, that's teacher what I've always said. Yeah. Then go to school. But yeah. this whole deal where it's like, I'm just going to figure it out mm-hmm. and I'm going to go get a psychology degree yeah. and have $100,000 in student loan debt. Well, my parents, neither one of them use their degrees whatsoever. <laughs> so they were like, I get that like completely. If you can make it without, do it. Go for cause it. Because you're better off. You know, you get like an early start basically. So yeah. Yeah. So you're the channel though. And, and then like apparel, what do you, do you, are you doing like an actual clothing line or what do you think? Yes. Yeah, so we're trying to do like actual like apparel line uh, besides from my merch. So we're doing um, like merchandise with our brand on it and all that stuff. And then we're doing like a separate apparel line. So. Heck yeah. Yeah. Well, what is the apparel? So it's all like motivational stuff. So it says, you know, like motivational quotes basically on it. And so like barrel racer quotes. No, it's more like, it's like a, (laughs) that would be really funny. They're actually all like Christ based like messages. And so it's like, yeah, my sister and I, we just like, I mean, we were like mine as well. So we were given this, this platform able to reach thousands of people on our phones. So we were like, might as well try to make, Something out of it. Heck do yeah. some good, but yeah. yeah. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah. What? And so the vlog stuff mm-hmm. is just going to be like y'all hanging. Basically. So we have like, we have a big photo shoot in Oklahoma Saturday. So we're going to try to vlog that and get a bunch of content out of that. And Where's everything. that at? It's in the Wichita mountains. I don't know. I've never you know even heard of that. Yeah. I didn't know Oklahoma was Had like mountains. pretty. Right. I didn't know they had mountains. <laughs> I thought it was just flat, but Is no. It way it, out east? I I don't even know. They haven't given me location, but they said there's salt flats. I didn't even know there were salt flats. But there's like mountains and stuff. So we're going to like get a bunch of content there um, and just like vlog and go into barrel races and stuff like that. Yeah, so, cool. We'll see. But. but you have no idea where that place is? <laughs> I rip. know the photographer. So <laughs> it's not like they're leading me to some crazy Does it have place, anything but. to do with horses or no? Yes, with okay. Cody. Yeah. We're doing one with him and oh, like Cody. this giant red dress. Cody is Jenna's old. Old barrel horse. Old barrel. How old is he? He's 20, 21, something like that now. We took his shoes off recently, didn't we? Or no, we did just we shoe put, him again? We put front shoes back on. That's him, right. But he was. He's got some special feet. He's different for sure. <laughs> All He's around. Some special feet. Yeah. He was... Uh, yeah, when I first started doing him, I think he was in pretty rough shape, wasn't he? They, yeah, they weren't shoeing him right because his feet just are different. They are. So we had to like get him right because he was, he was, they weren't doing it like horrible, yeah. but not catered to him. Yeah. But didn't you lease him recently? No. Um, wasn't there like something sketchy that happened with him? <laughs> well, a lot of people are trying to buy him from okay. us. People try to buy him from us like <laughs> all the time. But he's just like he's like a unicorn, like one of those horses uh-huh. you don't come across very often. But no, I give like lessons on him yeah. and like um we've had people that needed him last minute and he's just like a saint like that. So we've yeah. loaned him out. We've done that with two of our friends. So yeah, yeah, I got you. Ha, she don't want to talk about it. Oh, <laughs> That's why this is great. Great. She can't get away from me now. Right. I won't make you talk about it. It's fine. <laughs> I was going to call some people out. You know? It's fine. But right. with the video that we did, was I on him? I can't remember. Yes, you I was. were on him. Oh, Cody. JC's yeah. running him now. So I think they might do high school rodeo. But really? He still got it. He was like big time college rodeo horse with... Like when we got him. Yeah. And the people actually called and like wanted him back. And we're like, we should have never sold him. We're like, sorry about you. Sorry about your luck. (laughs) Heck yeah. yeah. He's a good one. How many do you have now? You got four, three, four? Three now. Three. Yes. Now. Mm -hmm. What happened? What do you mean? Oh, was there not four? Oh, (laughs) (laughs) you just said it. You said three now. (laughs) No, I got three. um, And... We're looking to get two more yeah. um, for me next year. So like beginning of the year to train up. So yeah, that just stressed me out. It's. <laughs> but. 
You need to uh, you need to find you a horseshoer to date. You know, get those uh, free shoeins. Free shoe. Well, that's what I have you for. <laughs> yeah, but you can't date me. Well, true. <laughs> but I make videos for you. That is true. <laughs> that is true. We have a nice deal uh, set up there where uh, I come out and shoe horses, and then she helps me get people to pay attention to my little songs. <laughs> <Come in. laughs> Little songs? Are you kidding? They're my widow songs, like my widow wada. Oh, see, other Mother. way. <laughs> my widow songs widow. with my, my widow wada. Wait, where's the where'd the pillow go? <laughs> widow widow, it's a widow pillow <laughs> with a widow wada. Have you seen those videos on the? Um, they do the Toyotas, the Tacomas. <laughs> Where's so, that? You never seen those? I don't think so. I spent. We went to Colorado not that long ago. And I spent the whole time doing this, but they, <laughs> you video, like when you see a, uh, like a little Toyota truck, you know, yes, and they have those little ladders on them and stuff. And the guy will be like, Oh, or they'll have the snorkel <laughs> on it. And he'll be like, Oh, it's a widow ladder. <laughs> it's, a, it's a widow snorkel when they're getting the water and oh it's too God. deep. <laughs> you that's do these little videos. So, funny. <laughs> so that's my widow ladder. Otherwise, Man, I'll tell you what, this does trip me out. It's kind of weird. Yeah. I, I understand the weather people now. Yeah. yeah. It's going to rain somewhere in this general <laughs> area over here. <laughs> yeah. Um, Anyways. So you look at old Mikey over there Being crushing productive. it. Aw. Hey, so you're doing stuff with uh, NRS now, right? Yes. NR- oh, I have their hat on. Oh, I didn't even notice that. <laughs> National Roper Supply. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's like a recent program they started. So they reached out to me before they started it and were like, hey, we want to do this, but we don't know what we're doing. So kind of bear with us. Like, again, I think the whole social media thing is so like new to people and they just don't know yet. So yeah, it's like just a whole learning process. But yeah, they started a program. So um, they just like send stuff and we post them and rep them and whatnot. And then after a year, then, you know, you have a chance to like come on and actually work with NRS or like for mm. NRS. So yeah. Do you get enough attention? Basically. I think you're there. <laughs> but they're super great people. I think you're there. Super easy to work It'll with. Be your agent. Agent. Yes. Be your agent. I got it. Oh be. gosh. Uh yeah, old uh NRS used to be David's. Really? David's Western Wear. Do you really not I remember that? that? I don't think so. For real? Mm-hmm. Dang. Yeah. It used to be, well, it's always been here in Decatur, but mm-hmm. they have a few different locations, but yeah, yeah, like David uh, is the guy that originally started it. And mm-hmm. his son, I graduated high school with his son. I was pretty good buddies with his son. Oh, really? Yeah. And they all still, his son works there and runs, he used to run the Weatherford store and now I think he's here in gotcha. Decatur now. Uh, but yeah, I know them real well. That's awesome. They're good people. Yeah. Super good people. All the staff is great that I've worked with so far. Yeah. They're really good people. Yeah. So. Heck yeah. So, how do you, uh, why, why, why don't they sponsor you for like the rodeo stuff? I don't know. How does that get like compartmentalized? I don't understand it. I don't, I don't really know because I do rodeo, but I also do like the whole influencer, I guess you could say, side of uh-huh. things. So, like, I don't know. Some people reach out and kind of do like both. Like, we want to sponsor you. And have you be, you know, like a rep kind of deal. Yeah. So they're technically like a sponsor, but then a lot of them are just like reps stuff. So I don't know. Some send like patches and whatnot um, with the stuff, even though it's technically just like a rep deal. But I've had a few reach out and they've sponsored, but also like want me to post on TikTok and all that stuff. Of yeah. Like all the clothing and all that stuff. So. Right. Like, um, like Rodeo Bum, they own the hat store. In Houston, I'm pretty sure it is, but they started like an apparel line and they just call it like Rodeo Bum, Mm -hmm. but it's like the Rodeo Bum Hat Company. So they are technically my rodeo sponsor, but it's like I post stuff out there on TikTok and whatnot, like wearing their clothes and everything like that. So it's a little more than just like like the rodeo sponsors. I think it is an RS sponsor. Tough, maybe. Man, I don't even, even maybe they haven't ever really done that type of stuff. I feel like I'm not sure. I don't know it. I feel like they sponsor some people. I don't know, but like it's you know a big company sponsors like a rodeo athlete. They just wear their patches and you know tag them when they run or whatever. I do more of like I'm wearing the clothes. Look what I'm wearing. 
you should go buy it kind of yeah. you know, like influencing them sure. to go buy their stuff. Yeah. So it's, it's a little different, but you know, but I do both so I can, you know, go to rodeos and some of them, you know, send patches or whatever and some want me to put it on or I'll just wear like a hat and take a picture at a rodeo kind of yeah. deal. So you know. what's some of the drawbacks of having that much attention on you? Ooh, tough subject. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, it's, it is a tough subject. It's there's just, like a real part of that. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, there's sometimes you struggle with it more than others, but like I never expected this to happen or never really like, wanted this to happen. But, you know, I feel like everything happens for a reason. So I'm just rolling with it, but try, <laughs> trying to stay very low to the ground because, sure. you know, some people, they get attention and they just get on their high horse. So yeah. I don't ever want to be like that, but I don't know. I'll let I you just, know if you are. Perfect. Yeah, you can just vice versa. Yeah. <laughs> well, but, but a part of that's probably like you said, uh, you didn't necessarily like want it to happen, or you weren't like trying to make it happen. Right. It was just like for fun. So and that I never probably helps. To stop being fun. You know? If you were like really trying it and wanting it, right? I feel like it would be different. Yeah. But I don't know. So yeah. what? But what does that like really mean? Like, what's some of the things that you struggle with with it? I don't know. Like. I don't know. Like I go places, you know, people sometimes notice me and stuff like that. And like parents have already always taught us like, you know, have good character. You never know who's watching, but now it's more real than ever. Mm. So, you know, it's just stuff like that, like being conscious about like what you're doing and who's watching and whatnot. Um, Because there are like a lot of little girls who reach out to me and are like, oh my gosh, you're my idol. And, you know, then they'll see me in public and want to take pictures and stuff. So, you know, I just try to like always have a good attitude and like, you know, positive vibes basically. Cause that's not always easy watching. Though. It's not, especially like <laughs> when you rodeo, I mean, there's usually like one winner and you lose <laughs> a lot more times than you win. So, you know, sometimes you get frustrated with a run, but like I had a, I had a bad run recently and I was super frustrated just like with myself because I felt like I didn't perform very well, came right out. And a girl walked up to me and was like, Oh my gosh, I've seen you on YouTube. Oh. And so I immediately was like, we just need to calm down. Like we're fine. It's okay. And then, you know, talk to this girl and then, you know, it was fine. But that was kind of like a, you never know who's watching. You never know, you know, yeah, what people are going to take from that. So, but daggum, you're having to learn a lot of like emotional intelligence at a very early age. Oh yeah. Yeah. For sure. A lot. But it's, I mean, I've sounds got, like, like you're pretty aware of it though. I mean, yeah. Like, I mean, I don't know. I don't want to walk around and be like, a douchebag and people be like, Oh, she's like, you know, right. she tries to be on social media and like acts one way, but in person she's another way. Sure. Which a lot of people like from my school, I've heard that I, you know, went to school with and graduated with and whatever. Um, I've just heard from like people I still talk to and everything that they're like, Oh, like now that she, you know, has followers or whatever, she's like different or thinks she's huh. whatever. And like, I don't know. It kind of hurts. For Cause sure. I'm like, I don't think that. Yeah. And like, whatever. I don't know. But well, there is a part of that too that like growing up like there has to be an element of changing. I mean true. Yeah. Like, the real ones will stick like around. Like if you I change guess. and it's like in some better ways, that's good. Right. I was talking recently, I think it was on another podcast about cuz I'm in my hometown mm-hmm. and I'm different than the way I was in high school. Right. Like in a lot of ways, lot of ways. for for like for the good. Mhm. And I you know, I'll hear people saying like Oh, he's just different now. And it's like, well, thankfully, I'm not the same as I was when I was 15. Right, exactly. (laughs) You're the exact same. (laughs) Like, that would suck. Yeah, for sure. But that's that's incredibly difficult to... It's, yeah, it's not... I would imagine a lot of that's based off of jealousy for you. I don't know. Because they just want to tear you down. Right. But it still kind of sucks. It still kind of (laughs) sucks. Because, I, I mean, I don't see myself... As different. Or, What's the ways know, that they say like that. that you're different? Just like, you know, I have like a following now and, you know. Well, that's different, like, but that doesn't mean different. you're different. Exactly. But I feel like people just like kind of associate the two together and mm. like think that like, I don't know, like in my graduation party, you know, I had some friends from high school or whatever come and like we were just talking about it because I haven't really seen them since because school was really different this year or when I went and like I was online so I didn't see a lot of people often so when I did see everybody 
then they like told me like, yeah, people were saying that, you know, you're different now and like you think you're better than everybody else basically oh. because you have like a following. Yeah, they're I was like, just I jealous. Don't, like I don't put that out there whatsoever. I try to put content out that's like all positive and welcoming for everybody and like I don't put anything out there to make anybody mad. Yeah, you know I mean? man, they're jealous and that's so difficult to deal with. Yeah. At like but, any age, that's difficult. Right. Much I mean, less. it's definitely been like a big change and sometimes, mm. you know, it gets – it's kind of rough, but yeah, you know, you push through it. It yeah. is what it is. So, and then having to, there's a part of letting people in to a certain degree, mm-hmm. but then when it doesn't go how they had it made up in their mind, right? How your life doesn't go the way that they want it to, mm-hmm. it's a really weird thing. Exactly. Because they feel like they almost own a part of you. Yeah. So, but. are I think you might have learned it the hard way sort of a little bit, Mm -hmm. but like maybe not letting people in too much. Uh, Yeah, a little bit. Um, I don't know. Like I, as much as like, as weird as it sounds, I actually try not to be on my phone a lot, try not to be on social media a lot because like I was, and it just, I mean, I was just like, this is too much. Like I can't. And basically, and so I was like, I mean, I still want to live, live life. You know what I mean? And so I don't know, like I try not to be on my phone a whole lot and try not to be, you know, let it consume me kind of deal. But then like, you know, people are like, you're never on your phone. You never respond. Like you're doing this. And I'm just like, I don't know what to tell you. (laughs) Like I'm trying to, trying to make it on my own. So yeah, you got to live a life outside of it. Oh yeah, for sure. It's a beautiful world out there. Exactly. When you do real stuff. Oh yeah. I mean, basically the content I put out is of me just living, Mm -hmm. doing what I do on the daily life. I mean, I don't try to put anything out there that I'm not, you know what I mean? Like I'm not trying to hide anything. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. You can't put, uh, I don't know, maybe at some point you could do it, but you, you got in a bit of a pickle like that with somebody you were dating, right? Where I got on your videos and then y'all broke up and then people got like pissed off. Yeah. Well, I don't know. People are definitely like in your personal business a lot. I mean, they want to know everything that's going on. And like, again, I'm not trying to hide anything, but I'm not going to put everything that I'm going through out on the internet. You know what I mean? So, I mean, there's definitely like a having to deal with that side of things, like people trying to get in your personal life and asking all these questions and whatnot when you're trying to deal with stuff on your own. Sure. That's when it gets kind of difficult. But, you know, ultimately I just tell them like, yeah, like, you know what? We're good. We'll work through it. Like, you know, Yeah. thanks for being concerned. Like, I don't yeah. know what to tell you, but yeah. So what's, do you see a lot of people that may, I, I struggle with this because what we're talking about, the exact reason that we're, like I'm able to put music out to people or mm-hmm. you're able to like develop an actual like marketing brand right. is because people are on their phones a lot. Yes. looking at social media and looking at what we do mm-hmm. at the same time, which I appreciate. And like, that's yeah. the only reason I can write songs and put it out to people. But exactly. the same token, it concerns me a little bit. <laughs> yeah, Cause it's like, man, you got, you guys need to live a life too. Right. You know, like there's a whole world out there. Exactly. And I don't know if there's a way to like have both. Like, I think you can get on there and enjoy it. And- exactly. Yeah. I mean, people, I see like a whole negative side of TikTok, like of kind of like the jealousy aspect, mm. people commenting on videos and like sometimes my videos, sometimes I see it on other videos of like, like I want to be them or I'm sad that I'm not them or oh, don't look I see like them or yeah. do what they do. Yeah. And so when I see those comments, like I just try to respond and be like, girl, you're doing great Good on your you. own. Yeah. Like, you, you know you're you're gorgeous yourself like you don't need to yeah. you know hate on yourself because you don't look like anybody else yeah so I, I try to keep everything positive on that aspect because i see a lot of that and just like like the jealousy whole mm-hmm. thing like you know be happy with yourself just because you're not living somebody else's life doesn't mean your life sucks so, yeah and the whole idea of social media it's basically a highlight reel in a lot of ways it is very you know? much so yeah like i'm not going to show on my deal or I get in a fight with my wife mm-hmm. and I'm super sad. Like right. I'm not going to post that. Exactly. So you just see the highlight reel. Basically. Which is, is tough for people. I think, I don't know. I don't, it's, it's a double edged sword mm-hmm. cause I'm appreciative of it, but yeah. I don't know. I think it gets in some people's heads a little bit too much. Yeah. 
social media, like, I mean, I'm on social media, have a decent following, but I hate social media <laughs> in, in such like a, in a, in a way. Yeah. But I don't know. I feel like, like I said, it's so new. People are, it's evolving. That's kind of like how our world's running these days. So it's just like, it's a whole new aspect that people are having to deal with and everything. And so I don't know. It's just, it's a lot. But. So uh, speaking of not letting people in or getting too personal, you got a boyfriend now or? No. No. <laughs> No, we no we're uh, we're taking a break from relationships. Are right you right now? Yes, from relationships, huh? Oh yeah. <clears throat> from- I got a couple prospects that I think I can. You yeah, know, we got a couple in mind. Okay. <laughs> I don't know about the horseshoe thing though. Right. Because they can be a tough bunch. Yeah, I feel like it's either like good or bad. You like the cowboys or what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't discriminate. <laughs> Oh, the cowboys can be difficult, though. I guess it depends on what type of cowboy. True. There's a bunch of different types. There is. How many different types of cowboys do you think there are? Oh, nowadays? Yeah. A lot. Oh, let's go through them. A lot. Okay. Um, we well, got like <laughs> like your rodeo kids. Okay. Okay. But yep. that's different from like your ranchers. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Sometimes they're both. So you got rodeo, rodeo cowboys, and then you got like, then you got ranchers. like cowboy cowboys. Like, Punch. Like I'm talking like key boys. Key boys. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then you got like your social media Uh-oh. cowboys. Those are a whole another ball game. Okay. Yeah. So that's like, like your Cavender cowboy. Uh, more more like boot barn. You know, Ooh. more like boot barn cowboy. Shots fired. Yeah. So anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I feel like there's. It's fine. But see, I think you could take that another step, and you could you have like the Love's gas station cowboy. You do. Ooh, those are my favorite. Like I'm talking, yeah, palm leaf. Like, uh, we're talking Toby Keith hat, mm. Gibble. cowboy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what it's like the old Tim McGraw hat or whatever that he used to wear. Oh, you, mm-hmm. Whew. Oof. Um, there's there's a college. So cowboy. we're up to four. There's like a frat boy cowboy now. Interesting. Yes, they're like. I mean, it's like the light wash Wranglers and the like. You tuck the shirt in, and then sometimes you have a hat, Ooh, sometimes not. Interesting. So did mm-hmm. okay. So it's like the Parker look. Yes, I'm like, not saying that Parker's frat boy cowboy, but well, mm, did, did that is that what, the, what they kind of stole it from? Maybe I don't know. It like light wash Wranglers that are like, I think they're like cowboy cut. Maybe I don't even know, but they're more like skinny at the bottom. They're not very like wide, and they probably buy their jeans like way too short. Sometimes, yeah. So when they sit down, the jeans like come up like way over the up. boot. Yeah, it floods everything basically. Yeah. <laughs> That's like five. There's, I mean, it's like five oof, different we cowboys. We could go on. Uh, <laughs> I, there's probably there's like a musician cowboy too. Yes, very much so. Um, I Some feel of like those ones are interesting of, though because they they like admittedly will be like, "Hey, man, I, I don't know. I, I just like country music. Yeah, I just like country music. Just, and that's I, all. And I like hats. You know. Yeah. <laughs> no, but there's like in the Inside of those, I feel like there's also options. Like the rodeo boys, they have like the roughy kind of stereotype. What's a roughy? The ones who ride rough stock. And then there's timies, <laughs> the one that do the time events, right? Uh-huh. So they say that there's like a whole stereotype in there of yeah. different. But it's the same with girls. You know How would I mean? you describe the difference between Ooh. your ropers and your roughies? Well, I don't even know if there like really is a difference. Everything I see, they're kind of almost the same. Really? Because, like, roughies, they say, like, are not loyal and kind of, you know. Uh, what's it called? I'm going to let you fill this one out. Like, um, <laughs> uh, what is it called? Like, explore their options. <laughs> that was a, Openly. not what I thought you were going to say. <laughs> that was a super polite way of saying it. Right, exactly. Just exploring um, their but, options. But, I mean, they're not all like that. That's sure. just a stereotype that yeah. everybody puts out, like, yeah. you know, on social media, on TikTok and everything. Mm-hmm. But then the roughies, they say that, like, some of them, they're, like, the more loyal, like, husband material. You know what I mean? But then, like, like headers and healers, they said there's a difference between those. Mm-hmm. And, you know, some are just, like, the roughies. Mm. I don't know. How would you describe the calf ropers? The calf ropers. Those are my favorite. <laughs> oh, there we go. Getting some info. Oh, if you're a calf roper, like if you're a rest- calf roper. I feel like maturing is realizing that it's the steer ropers and, or the um, calf ropers and steer, steer wrestlers. wrestlers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Very much so. I've seen a lot of steer wrestlers get, uh, yeah, they get 
So this is interesting. You know how you, like they call it getting wifed up? Mm-hmm. What would you call it getting husbanded up? Getting husbanded up. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. My friend always tried to tell me, and I was like, no, honey. But now I get it. I get it now. About the, About, like, the steer oh, wrestlers. Bulldoggers and ropers? Mm-hmm. Mm, yeah. I get it. I mean, that's always kind of been a stereotype, I think. Yeah, that they're like. Yeah, your roughies are always a little bit more wild. Yeah. I mean, you kind of yeah, have to be. Kind of have to be if you're going to uh, get on. Diving. Then again, man, diving down off a horse going that fast. I mean, true. On a steer, like you can't really be right in the head to do that either. Yeah. But <laughs> do you have to be right in the head to rodeo in the first place? Mm, uh, yeah, for know. sure. You got to be. You got to be. <laughs> you got like on a, a different, little bit of a wild side. Totally. Yeah. Uh, and then so, so we have like sub, we have categories, sub categories. subdivisions of yes. the different. But the girls, categories. the girls is a whole nother aspect of this. See, that was, that's one. I, mm-hmm. All of the ones that you listed off about the guys, I can. I feel like that's. I can pretty well understand that. The ones mm-hmm. that I don't know as much about are the, the women. I mean, women? I, like I can, I know a pretty significant difference between like. Well, there's like a whole you know, Western fashion thing going on oh, now. Oh, yeah. And yeah. so. They like these girls post like Western fashion and then just get called buckle bunnies like constantly because they just dress in Western fashion. You know what I mean? They're they're buckle bunnies. They are the buckle bunnies is what everybody's saying. Just because they dress like they yeah kind of like like the country music singers. They're like I like country music but I'm not a cowboy. Sure. They kind of post this like yeah. you know I just like the Western fashion industry yeah. and I like dressing like this which and I think is cool. Packed. I'm into all that stuff. Exactly. I mean it's a cool culture. A bunch yeah. of cool design. Oh yeah. I got I think it's awesome. Yeah, exactly. But then they get like attacked on social media. Oh, then gosh. they call them like a buckle bunny and stuff. Like huh. I don't think people understand what a buckle bunny is. No. What is a buckle bunny? Well, you know. They like the roughies. Bu- <laughs> buggle buggle bunny. Mm-hmm. What is a buggle bunny? Um, <laughs> hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Are they exploring their options too? Yes. Just I mean, they go hand in hand with the roughies, you know what I'm saying? I do. So, yeah. I mean, never mind. It's fine. Uh, move right along. <laughs> I, don't know, I didn't know why I answered it like that. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. Oh, uh, yeah, so, well, describe the, the barrel racer. Ooh. Um, the it stereotype could... or, like, my understanding? <laughs> Some of the stereotypes? <laughs> I mean, okay. okay. I mean. <laughs> mm, here's the thing. <laughs> So, so barrel racers like are made out to be crazy and like wild. Um, I don't even know, but I feel like that's just that's kind of how I don't know. I have barrel raced my whole entire life, and I've only met like a handful of people like that. Yeah, I mean, they're definitely they are out there. Sure, you know, there's one in every crowd. There's people like that in general. In general, exactly. Yeah. But like the whole community in itself. I don't really see that. Mm -mm. So I don't know. Like I'm not like that. I would say that they're wild in the sense. I mean, you run like half ton animal at a metal can. Yeah, exactly. You got to be some kind of crazy. But I feel like there's different versions of crazy. You know what I mean? Yes. Like you got to have like a wild side in your mind to be able to like go do that stuff. But with the whole like relationship part of things. Yeah. Yeah. They're not necessarily insane there. Not really, but they like make them out to be kind uh-huh. of, you know, yeah, exploring their options. I think nowadays <laughs> most people, regardless of what you do or what you're into, most people are just nuts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I've observed recently. Basically, you know, and if you're in this little tiny microcosm of like the horse world, you can think like, "Ah, oh, horse people are nuts." Oh yeah, and it's like, well. Because I've done a lot of different stuff, and mm-hmm. it seems like anywhere I'm at, I find people that I'm like, there's heavens. There's one in every crowd. Oh, yeah. You know? <laughs> I mean, there's good and bad in all of the things we've talked about, but, you know, yeah. overall, the stereotypes that they put out, <laughs> I mean, not all the time they're true, but sometimes. Well, there's like horseshoe stereotypes. Really? Yeah. What do totally. you mean? Never on time. Oh. Mm-hmm. Uh, like unorganized. Yeah. Ding. Got that one. Uh, <laughs> Oh god. Uh like unorganized. Ding. Ding. Got that one. <laughs> you know, they drink a lot. What do you drink before shows? Ding. <laughs> <laughs> I have settled down tremendously. Which Isn't is it like something that I've had to work you, on. You you said something recently. You yeah. changed. You drink some like wine or something before shows? Uh well, I tried that for a little bit. Oh, okay. Cuz I wouldn't drink as much wine. Right. You know, just like have a couple glasses. And then you start to drink a little too much wine. Right. <laughs> then the wine is so carried like, away. Okay, well, 
<laughs> so I've pretty well cut out the drinking, you know. Yeah. Uh, which is good. That's a good thing. Good, good. You know, I had to make that change. Right. Uh, but yeah, I mean, like a lot of horseshoers drink quite a bit because mm-hmm. we're just in so much pain. Right. Like genuinely. Oh yeah. Helps us go to sleep. I get that. Um. So yeah, you got that one. Like I can't tell you the amount of people that I've gone to their place for the first time to shoe, and you know, I get done, and I'll be like, you know, so. <laughs> Uh, if you like what I did, you know, I can come back out, put you on a schedule and they'll be like, Oh yeah, man, I was just tickled to death that you showed up on time and you weren't drunk. Oh. I've probably had at least five or six people say that to me. Good, good. And I'm like, good heavens. That's our, <laughs> like, we're not even talking about if I did a good job. We're right. just talking about showing just up on like, time and wow, not you're being actually drunk. Like on time. Oh, yeah. You yeah. can come back. <laughs> there was one lady who had a story about a guy who showed up in a Cadillac and he had like all the shoe and stuff in the trunk okay. and he rolled out and he was hammered and he was just Cadillac cowboy. <laughs> well, that's probably our seventh one. Seventh. It's the Cadillac cowboy, right, exactly. which I think could probably be lumped in a little bit to the love gas station cowboy. A little bit. Probably. You ever seen the movie Dallas buyers club? I don't think so. It's got Matthew McConaughey. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, never mind. Hmm. It's always a terrible thing to do. You know, when you ask somebody, oh, like, and you ever seen like, this movie? Know. And they're like, no. no. Or the person that <laughs> when you ask, when you like tell somebody, you ever seen this movie? And then you're like, no. And then they go on to like explain it. And they're like, well, there's this one part where, mm-hmm. and you're like, okay. Like, I okay. I don't think I cool. want to go down this road. <laughs> well, all right. So when does some of the clothing apparel stuff come out? Um, Are you just working on designs? Well, we got all those finalized. We're only starting out with my merch. We have yeah. one design. Okay, cool. Um, And it's kind of like our main design we're going to roll with. And then the other ones, we started off with just like three simple basic ones and we're just going to like, you know, put them out there. So we have four going, like four different designs and just kind of see what happens, see how it goes. But yeah. when's your stuff coming out? Uh, We have some, that was really good too, by the way. Give your answer, then ask a question. I got Flip you. the interview around. Yeah. I caught it though. <laughs> not going to let you do it. Okay. Oh God. We'll answer your question, but then I'm going to flip it back around. Okay. Deal. Okay. Uh, <laughs> So, because I'm thinking of the question I got to ask you before I answer the question, you know? Right. Uh, merch designs. I guess we have we have a brand new line of merch coming out right now. Mm-hmm. Um, and I can't reveal the name of it yet. Is it what we talked about before? Uh-huh. Okay, I got For you. sure. I can't got reveal you. the name of it yet, though. All right. But we have the designs, like, pretty much done. Yes. Working on some trademark stuff. And it's going to be pretty awesome. I'll definitely buy it. Oh yeah. Oh, well, you're gonna wear it for sure. I got you. I'll, uh, but I mean, you'll put it on your videos and stuff basically for free. I'll just give you a discount code. Heck yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. I mean, <clears throat> I will. You know, spend every second of my day posting yeah, stuff making for these you, videos, making and, these videos yeah, for you, making your brand my blow up, and, yeah. and make it blow up. But mm-hmm. you know, just a discount. Yeah, code and then I'll work. just kind of like. I can like give you a shirt for free or something. Yeah, I mean it's fine. Like a hat maybe. <laughs> That's a real thing. It's a real thing. <laughs> Everybody sent yeah. Like how often does that happen to you where they're like I'll send you a hat will you wear it in all your videos? Mm-hmm. It's like sure. Yes. Let me do this video that gets as many views as the Super Bowl and right. I'll wear your hat. I I don't know. Like I love doing it like like for you, you know, people we know sure. trying to help them grow or stuff. Like I have a few people who are like I know them and it's like a relationship type of deal Yeah, and, you know, love helping them out and whatnot. <clears throat> totally. But, you know, I can, I can only do so much so Yeah, <laughs> when I have all these other people asking me and they just all want to do it for free. And then I spend, you know, waste a day making all these videos for people. And it's like, okay. <laughs> well, that's why now you have an agent that can handle you, a lot of that. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah, you just contact me. <laughs> I'm now Jenna's agent. Right. If you need anything, go to Jared. Hit me at uh, Jared Mike. Morris. <laughs> Hit, me at, <laughs> Hit me at Mike. So funny. Mike. <laughs> <laughs> well, right on. Um, thanks for coming out. Of course. Your horses are probably coming up due, aren't they? Uh, I think next week or the week Are they after. really? Mm-hmm. Well, look at that. We can just go ahead and schedule it now. Perfect. <laughs> Yes, uh, so I'll see you in a week or two. <laughs> yeah, we probably should. Uh, can we do? Uh, I think we could the totally. Last time you did it is when we, <clears throat> whenever we made those videos of you on Cody. Is that really the last time I shot it? Mm-hmm. Uh, that was a long time ago. I feel like it was. Suckers are long. Didn't I go out there to tack a shoe on or something like that? 
Yes. Yeah. We should do next week. Okay. Deal. And then we can do a video. Yes. A YouTube video? We what, can do whatever. Video. I don't know. Whatever. Okay. Um, we need to get YouTube videos rolling for you. I know. We did the one. We need to get more. For you me. did a couple, I think. I did two, actually. You yes. Did. Yeah, so. You came out to a show. Mm-hmm. And you did one while I was shooing. Yes. Which there's some funny clips from the one shooing. Yes. See, you, you get like a lot a of job. content from just like, you know, an hour of yeah. shooting. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, I think this might be our first podcast mm-hmm. that we're going to release. Okay. And then we can do that. And then we can make some follow up videos. All right. I love to talk. Maybe I'll start a podcast. You we can 100% have dueling podcast. Should. <laughs> well, don't do it. Let me get some stuff going. <laughs> Before you do it, <laughs> so I don't, you know, I don't know if my fragile, Whoa. my Whoa fragile ego can handle you just coming in here and blowing. So we need to up. get, we need to get dad in one of these. I okay, so I feel like he would freeze up. Is her dad the one that I walked up to? The yeah, big old Jack dude. Uh huh. Like you must not work out. Well, it's, like it was so, so weird too. Because like sure, we're talking <laughs> old Mike over here. And he was being so docile that day. And then all of a sudden, he walked out and saw your dad and just got this weird urge to just go up and, like, yeah, kind of just like poke at him a like, little hey. bit. Like, hey, dude. Oh, he, you think you're about big, me huh? Too all the time. He thinks y'all are just like the greatest thing ever. <laughs> it's so fun. <laughs> and he's like, because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you, I, I was talking to him and Mike just walked up and he, what did you say to him? I don't remember. It was something, something about like, like you ever been in a gym before? Yeah, like yeah, he must have never been like in a gym before or something yeah. like that. Something about and like, I was standing next almost to like making fun of him yeah, about of the fact that he was like looked like he was a security he guard. He 100% was talking trash. Yeah, 100%. And your dad just – I just remember – took it. No, because that's like that's like his love language is like oh, – okay. Being mean. Yeah, I mean making fun of people, you yeah. know. You just got to take it, so. He likes oh. to get whooped on. <laughs> it was a good call. The relationship really just blossomed in that moment. <laughs> This was the look. I actually, Mike walked right next to him. I was on the other side of your dad, and Mike said that to him. And your dad just looked at him and went, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "Yeah, baby, yeah, baby, yeah, baby." Squishy. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, then he blew out his groin. He did do that. So <laughs> right. we, you have ammo right now. Right that yeah, you have ammo, so it's fine. <laughs> well, right on. Thanks, Jenna. Of course. Uh, Use Jenna's discount code. Look, look, <laughs> look her up on Instagram, the Tic Tac. And we're going to do some videos too. Perfect. Right on. Right See on. y'all. Bye. <laughs>